Hello, welcome to a new test. Um, uh, today I will talk about uh, two VTX of 200 milliwatts. Uh, the first one is um, the T5800. Um, I bought it in rangevideo.com. Okay, it's working um, on the band C. Okay. So install a uh, cliff leaf and you can find the power leads, um, directions to um, inputting the camera and the uh, video and audio signal. Uh, on the same architectures I will present now the uh, famous uh, Bascam TX5823. I install exactly the same wire, okay, and uh, the same kind of uh, uh, cliff lever antenna and um, in order to uh, inputting both VTX uh, with their uh, 3.3 volts I use this uh, Pololu uh, step down voltage regulator and um, a small uh, 2S uh, lipo battery okay um, as camera um, I will use this very nice uh, 7 grams uh, 100 degrees of field of view camera uh, which is the MC uh, 95AB18 okay 8 grams uh, wide um, or wide aperture and uh, working in part format okay so I will start first with the TX um, 5A23 and to show uh, that with this camera we will meet some interferences some DC components uh, will uh, make some interference in the video um, okay so for the first VTX I uh, use this voltage regulator okay with inputting 3.3 volts and I retrieve the video signal and audio signal and broadcasting uh, with this VTX and I uh, use this uh, uh, 2S LiPo as input battery uh, I use this uh, 32 channel uh, video receiver okay and uh, you will see in my Google if I can make a small zoom okay you will see some fine you know some horizontal lines okay you can see these white horizontal lines uh, occupying mainly all the main screen okay it's some interferences okay I will show now with the other uh, video uh, uh, transmitter okay this time I use the uh, T58 VTX the same uh, the same voltage regulator the same camera here okay the same lipo and another band another frequency and you will see the result in the in the in the in the my google you can see no more uh, white line interferences meaning that this uh, this video receiver a transmitter sorry the T5800 um, is much more robust to um, um, these uh, interferences from this um, very nice camera okay uh, um, now I added a LC filter bought in um, hobby.com okay we'll uh, first uh, go to the um, to the uh, voltage regulator and uh, cleaning more or less uh, the voltage regulator, the camera and the VTX but uh, if we look uh, carefully in the uh, result uh, you can still find this uh, interference line okay unfortunately as you can see this wine starting more or less from the 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 bottom uh, screen up to the the top of the screen so unfortunately this kind of, uh, of uh, filter doesn't work uh, 
Um, the specification of the VTX uh, says to add the two caps um, uh, like this of uh, uh, 570 um, uh, uh, microfarads, okay, uh, one in parallel of, uh, of the input and one in series uh, of the video signal wire. So maybe it can improve stuff, but uh, I'm not so confident. So, okay, this time I made another change. I use another 170 degrees uh, field of view camera, which is the MC45. Excuse me, MC495 <laughs> 170s, which is more or less the same that the uh, 91AB18. Okay, but you will see this one with the Boscam takes um, 5A23. We will observe less interferences. Okay, it's exactly the same setup, the same voltage regulator. I exchange only this camera. Okay, and you will see the results. You don't observe now anymore this white band, but some. Uh, Another type of interventions, I guess we can be removed be with the filter, so I will do, I will do the, this test now. Okay, this time I install uh, the LC filter on the, um, lipo, after the LiPo battery and I will observe the result. Okay, you still observe some small interferences, but it's still okay. Um, I will recommend uh, this uh, video uh, transmitter, but the uh, the only drawbacks of this one is working on um, a different band of frequency, and you have potentially less uh, video receiver available. Um, but now there are some new video receiver with 32 channel working on the four different band, so we can be. Uh, very nice to have this kind of uh, video um, transmitter, the T5800. Okay, bye bye.